Wow. What a sight to behold. <laughs> it's another day at sea, an icon of the seas. And this morning, uh, we actually woke up early, even though we had the quest last night and we were up late. But we wanted to wake up early. Also, we had a time change that was in our favor, so that was nice. But we went into the hot tub in Cloud 17. It overlooks the Royal Bay pool area yeah. and kind of like the El Loco Fresh fun, uh, like net seating area. So we had a good time soaking up the, the hot tub there. And it was really nice because like nobody was out there in the hot tub or the pool areas. And then we went down to the promenade and it was just amazing walking around the huge promenade with nobody there too. That's why I love waking up early. It was so deserted. It, yeah, it's just empty. I love waking up early and there seeing the ship empty like that. There was no line for the Starbucks. We could walk right up. The dude knew yeah. Ryan's order right away. Yeah, he knew my order. It's day six. He knew my name and my order. He didn't so know mine, so that was disappointing. <laughs> I, I order more often, though. Yeah, I know. I'm kidding. And then we walked through the Pearl and... We noticed that it had sound effects for the first time. We've never noticed that before. No. This is the first time we've been able to hear the pearl. It sounds like mystical. Does it? Have we just never noticed it, or is it just normally too loud in here? I have no idea. But first of all, it's making like a loud, like uh, kind of thing. But then it also has these mystical, like. It's like surround sound, mystical sounds. I feel like maybe this is the only time it's been quiet enough yeah, at sure. 7 in the morning, you know? Like, literally, I can really hear like, yeah. Um, but yeah. I think so. So it's day six of our cruise, and we have still yet to set foot into the dining room. We still have not seen the main dining room at all. Classic us. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna check it out for lunch. We actually like coming to the main dining room for lunch. It's a little less crowded, a little less like, you know, you don't have to be as buttoned up when you go in. So I feel like it's better. Yeah. We got a table right by the window and it was really funny because our waiter, because the waves are really high right now. And it was really funny because he's like, when we sat down, he's like, Okay, buckle up. <laughs> fasten your seatbelts. Yeah, it's going to be seat. a bumpy ride. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, oh, it's February 1st, so. Wow, we've entered a new this month. Is, this is winter cruising. Yeah. In the Caribbean, but still. <laughs> this is the month Brian and I met each other in, oh. so it's officially been four years. Wow. Can you imagine? Time flies when four you're four cruising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does yours have shrimp on it? It is shrimp. I don't want that. Well, you can pick, pick it off. <laughs> Why is there shrimp on it? I don't know, but I think it's cool. Uh, this is the royal chicken sandwich. It has shrimp on it. I didn't realize it would, but, but that's cool. No, it's not. <laughs> what? You can just pick it off. I know, but why is this here? <laughs> I don't know. When you first said that, I was like, no, that's the that's the onion. Because there's like onion rings on it. Mm. But no, I have three pieces of shrimp. I think it's cool. How is it? I think this is a fish sandwich. <laughs> oh, is it? Look at that. This is a fish sandwich. <laughs> it's, is it still good though? I didn't even see that on the menu, did you? No. We should ask. I, I kind of have a problem with that. <laughs> Let's ask. <laughs> Turns out that they had a seafood sandwich on the menu. <laughs> and I think our waiter thought that that's what we wanted. Yeah. Um, I don't really eat seafood, which is funny because we're going to Hooked tonight for dinner. No, that is funny. <laughs> So you're gonna have seafood there. I, I liked the sandwich, by the way. Um, I thought it was good. It's but just not what either of us ordered. Yeah, <laughs> so we're having two lunches. Yeah, yeah, I feel like this is an opportunity for yeah. us to try the chicken sandwich up here at base camp. And then you're trying the hot dog and I'm also trying the pretzel. So really, we should look at this as like a blessing in disguise. I look at it as like a bonus lunch. Yep. Yeah. So, thank you, main that was, dining room. That was really funny that we thought it was the really? chicken sandwich. Wow, they put shrimp on the chicken sandwich? I didn't even see that there was a fish sandwich on the menu. No, me either. My, eyes, just, my eyes went right to the chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Yeah. And then what I thought was onion was actually calamari. And it was like a tartar sauce and like... Yeah. 
Whatever. Whoa, the chicken sandwich looks good. It does. Look at those fancy tots. I know. What is that? Fancy tots. And oh, the is, pretzel. I want to say this is free. Yeah, this is this is free. I got the hot dog. Yeah, the tots, the hot dogs, the pretzels, free. Free ninety nine. Yeah. All right. Now the chicken sandwich we did have to pay for. How much was it? I don't know. I'm gonna turn around and I'll let you know. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get a look at this thing. It actually looks good. This is That's better. Nine dollars. This is better than the main dining room. The main dining room doesn't give you the right thing. This is the right thing. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And this is health food because this is a grilled chicken sandwich, not a fried chicken sandwich. And that's so, how you know it's healthy. It's not going to be as tasty though. No. Is it good? It's good. Yeah. They actually added some more stuff in the shop. Things that were not there last time. I got this swim shirt. So I'm going to be really cool. The thing is, it says Icon. Somewhere. Okay. Icon of the seas. In the crown and anchor. Amazing. So, What's on the, the side of, like, the arm? I think it just says Royal Caribbean. Oh, nice. You got all the things. But look at, you, there's a huge line in the yeah. promenade there. It extends way down the promenade. Because everybody's buying their ship model. Because in 30 minutes, the captain's going to sit at that table. And I don't know who's going to steer the ship. <laughs> but the ca I'm kidding. But the captain's going to sit there and he's going to sign everybody who wants to get their ship models. Did you see signed. that on the, like, listed yeah. on the, okay. I've but it, it said it starts in 30 minutes. So the, the line's going to be huge. Yeah, definitely get there early if you because want Because obviously, like, everybody on this ship is a really big Royal Caribbean fan. Yeah. So, like, people are lining up early for that. This That's the equivalent of meeting Mickey on Disney Cruise, I guess. Right. And I believe on this ship, our captain is Captain Henrik. And I think we've had him before. I think we have. I think on Alaska we had him. And we liked him because he said he like went out of his way to make sure we saw the glacier. And he had like funny jokes, I think. Yeah. So, great so, guy. It's pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to get mine signed because no. I really don't want to wait that long. And keep it pure, you and know? And I don't know what I would say. I would probably like make a joke about like him running into a whale or something. I don't know. And then he would be offended. And then he'd get offended. I'd get kicked off the ship. It'd be a whole big thing. Right. Anyway, when we were in the store, I noticed on the ship model. Okay, so before the cruise, we heard that there was supposed to be more hot tubs on the ship. And they left it off because they didn't know how the ship would control during their like sea trials or whatever. Wait, is it on the... You didn't show me in person? <laughs> it was hectic in there. Oh my God, let's go back. I wanna see. So on the ship model, you could see where the hot tubs were supposed to be. Where? It's exactly where we thought it was supposed to be. You're kidding. On that, the part where there's like these weird nets that like don't fit. Shut the front door. So it's over by a logo fresh. Yeah. You can oh. see it on the model because they made the model before they decided to take the hot tubs off. Oh my God. So, and then they said on, st like they said the ship is handling perfectly. The sea trials were amazing. So on Star of the Seas, they're going to put the hot tubs back. And you know where it is. I'm shocked. You see it right there? <gasps> like right there? No, 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 no. Oh no, because that's where we were that, this that's morning. That's where we were this morning. It's right that. there. It goes. Oh my God. Yeah. At the beginning of this cruise, we discovered that this beautiful icon uh, thing was made of real flowers. And we were like, oh my god, it's real. Wow. But now you can really tell that it's made of real flowers it's because they're sad. kind of wilting and sad. Oh, it's so sad. The cruise is coming to an end. The ones at the bottom are actually doing better. I wonder if that's because like the water is kind of filtering down. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But these ones are a little sad. Maybe people are leaning on them too. I think I definitely I, was. I did that. On the sea day today, they have a... Uh, uh, different ice skating show during the day. This one is geared a little bit more towards children, but it's like, it's like fairy tales. So I feel like it's right up our alley. And so we have to walk through Playmakers to go to the ice show. So now I really, really want that cookie. Here's what the show is called. Once upon a time, the King's Royal Ball. So this is a different ice skating show than when we saw the other day. But maybe after the show we get a campfire cookie. That's, I don't know. That sounds like something I might be interested in. A hot in. cookie after this cold yeah. show. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what did you think of the show? Okay, I actually kind of liked the plot line of it. There actually was a plot line. Yeah, I think that's what it was. It was like, oh, this actually has a plot. But it was kind of geared towards like children in the way that there was like an announcer and like oh like a storyteller yeah and it was like a jester and there was like a big old Humpty Dumpty and I don't know it was cute I it, really liked it it was like oh first of all they used the like Cinderella castle it's like 
it's Cinderella Castle. And there were a couple and Disney it, songs in it. I was like, I know what you guys are doing. Well, then it was like it was like kid songs and Disney songs, and then like randomly pop songs. There was like Lady Gaga and Dua Lipa. Yeah. The classic <laughs> Royal Caribbean. It was yeah. I feel um, like that was my least favorite part was that they were just like inserting pop music here. But what's cool is there like the stage had tracking, like automatic motion tracking. And so it knew where the ice skaters were on the ice rink, and then it would put like a little magnifying glass. My problem was I feel like they were just using that technology for the sake know, of using that technology. It was so cool that it was automatic. But then the, in the announcer guy, he was like on a cloud in the beginning. Yeah, I did like yeah. that. Yeah, that was the best use of it. Oh, wait a second. We're at Sorrento's. Oh, oh wait. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Slice, free slices at sea. Let's get a free slice. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got our pizza. The colors of this pizza really match this beautiful shirt. That yeah. I'm so we're going to eat this and then eat more food. At Playmakers, we get a cookie after this. How is it? By the way, this Sorrento's is actually better than usual, I would say. Don't you agree? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, we're back in Playmakers. Do we just get, do we just sit wherever we want? I think so. Yeah, but I feel like we need to make it clear that we want to order. Yeah, and that we want a cookie. Yeah, we need to make it clear that we want a cookie. Okay, we got our cookie. I kind of forgot how amazing this thing looks. Yeah. Because, like, look at these toasted marshmallows. And then it comes with a little this. side of milk. Comes with a glass of milk. And ice comes cream. Comes with ice cream. He suggested that we just dump the ice cream on top. What do you think? Like, should we... I think we need to, we need to, like... We need to eat it We need to, like, bite through a little bit and then do that. Maybe directly in the middle we bite so that there's, like, a little divot that we've created it, yeah, 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 yeah. for the ice cream. Yeah. We're so smart. Oh my yeah, god. Obviously this is this is the campfire cookie. We don't even need to describe oh, it. Oh yeah, we don't it's, need to tell you, you know. It's a warm cookie baked in this like cast iron thing. This was probably our most controversial thing that we didn't put in the food hall of fame. And I want to say that the reason why we didn't put it in is because when we ate it, the Cruise Food Hall of Fame wasn't created yet. It was created yeah. on that day. It was the, or the day after. Or something like that, yes. Yeah. So, today is really Redemption Day. Does it get in? We'll find out. Yeah. Is it good? We need to get in there. Stop filming, get in. <laughs> What's funny is our waiter brought us waters because we asked for soda and this, and he was like, that's two sweet things. You guys are going to need a water. So it's a chocolate chip cookie baked in this thing, topped with marshmallow. Like, that's why it's campfire, because it's like s'mores almost. Right. So the other thing that I was like, not really sure if it should go in the Hall of Fame is because it says Nutella, and I can't have hazelnut, but I think this is the Nutella. Very light. Hardly any Nutella. So I think, I'm, I'm not deathly allergic. It's just like, my tongue itches, whatever. Cut to later, we're in the medical yeah, facility. Yeah, cut to, I'm in deck one or whatever. No, I, We're gonna showcase the medical it, It's not a severe lady. allergy, so I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be fine. Yeah. Look at, it's so melty it and gooey. It's so good, and it tasted really good. I'm mouthing to Brian right now, put it in, as in put it in the food, cruise food hall of fame. As in put this in there. Oh, that too. How do I do this? I don't know. It's already like melting. It's already melting? Ah. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so good. While you were doing it, the waiter walked by and I feel like he like approved like of what proud, you did. Proud dad moment. <laughs> this is in. It's in. Cruise food, Hall of Fame, induction. It's so good. That was amazing. It's in the Hall of Fame. We made a mess. <laughs> Ice cream was flying. There's some in my hair. Somehow I got in Carrie's hair. I'm saving it for later. Um, what's crazy is we have dinner in a couple hours. Whoops. <laughs> but I, I want to come back here probably tomorrow, maybe. You gonna get this again? Or later tonight. For another cookie? I don't know. Why is this better than deserted? This is the best dessert on board. I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell you the truth. The deserted bar or deserted milkshake bar on the top deck doesn't even come close to this. Um I don't know what we we should have come here earlier on in the cruise so we could come here like every day yeah that's a really good point uh, but I would also I would also give deserted another shot maybe um, we only tried two milkshakes so there's a lot more to try so we came into Central Park um, because they're doing a tour it's like a landscape oh, tour of the yeah. Central Park which would be so cool we've never yeah. seen that listed before so that um, tour it wasn't really a tour. That talk or whatever about the park was really cool. I've never seen that listed before. 
What makes it extra cool is the guy that was hosting it was in charge of the plants on every Central Park from Oasis, Allure, Harmony, Symphony, Wonder, can I name them all? Um, and then Icon, and then he's about to go on to Utopia. So like he was in charge of getting it all set up on Icon, then he's gonna go to the shipyard and get it set up on Utopia. That's really cool that the guy that is in charge of it, we got to see give the talk. One of the things he talked about was these living walls, as he called it. There's one on each side. He said this was actually, it is the most challenge, like his, like for their job of like maintaining these plants, that's the most challenging thing that they have to deal with is those walls. And he said there's like double than what you would have like on an Oasis class. And he also said that they use like liquid fertilizer, which I thought was really interesting. I found this thing so intriguing that I like took notes like I was in school because <laughs> I was like, this is so cool. I'm so fascinated by yeah. it. So I wrote down that this ship has 13% more. He might have said 30. It was, it was hard to hear because it was really, really crowded. Yeah. And he, he did. So many people wanted to do. Yeah, because there's so many fans on board that want to hear this information and he didn't have a microphone, so it was kind of hard to hear. So he either said 13 or 30, we don't know. So it's 13 going on 30% more plant coverage than a normal. And the reason why he said it is because it doesn't have the bar, the rising tides yeah. bar that like every single Oasis class ship has. We don't have that on this ship. We just have these skylights. So it gives it more room for more plant life. And also the skylights that they do have on this ship are smaller than the ones on Oasis class. The ones on Oasis class, huge skylights. So now they're smaller, like this size, so that it allows for more plants. Which is awesome. And, it, and the promenade doesn't need the lighting from that because the promenade now has the has lighting on both on sides. The side. So it doesn't feel any darker on the promenade. Yeah, no. In fact, it feels lighter. Yeah. And we have more plant life in Central Park. Genius. Yeah. Wonderful. So he like introduced his whole team and everything that like they maintain all the plants and everything. And they he said a big part of their job is actually dealing with the pests and the insects because there are some insects and they have to deal with that and control that. And he said his team not only controls the insects here, but throughout the entire ship. That's part of their job is controlling insects throughout the whole ship. I think he said that there's 120 UV bug traps on board, wow. which I don't even know what that would look like. I've never seen something like that before. So yeah. that's pretty impressive. But I was thinking like, oh, how are you going to have bugs like on the ship? And he said like, you know, you can have like fruit flies or like something like that. So they maintain that. And it's so open here that of course, like flying insects could come in. Yeah. Oh, another thing is um, on Allure, recently Allure went through uh, weather that was below freezing and it killed a lot of the plants in Central Park. He said he was like heartbroken. They're like his babies. Yeah, and he, they obviously replaced them, but like he said, like almost everything died because it was below freezing. So I was like, Okay, so maybe the odds of an Oasis class ship going to Alaska are not very good then. Yeah. You know, because like... He said a lot of these these uh, plants are like tropical. Like they get the specific yeah. plants that are good for like Florida and the tropics. So I wonder if, if we ever have an Oasis or Icon class ship in Alaska or cold weather, like I wonder if they'll do something different with Central Park. Possibly. That would be really interesting if they had different flora and fauna for Alaska. Yeah. When he was talking about how like all of his babies died on that uh, Oasis class ship, he was talking about how like he believes that if you talk to the plants, yeah. that'll make them grow faster. And it really made me think of this one time in school. I think it was in like seventh or eighth grade. I did a science experiment where I had all my plants listen to music because I was like, does the genre of music that a plant listens to affect its growth? And so I had like some plants listen to country music and some plants listen to rock music and some plants listen to pop music. And um, the outcome of that experiment was that I don't know how to take care of plants and all of them died. Oh my God. Okay, so we're almost at the end of the park here. And you may be asking yourself, how long does it take to accomplish something like this? And I would have thought months and months on end, and I guess it does to, for them to like grow, but he said that they put all the plants in in the shipyard while they're building the ship, and it only takes like five to six days, which I think is pretty impressive. Yeah. They had a lot of help though. He said there was like 45 people working on it or something. Yeah. He had a team come out and there were like five helpers and then like two kind of like main captains of the agriculture. And so like it's kind of a small team that like does all of this stuff. It's very impressive what they are able to accomplish. Yeah. I found that whole tour 
Super fun, yeah. very informative. I loved it as a diehard cruise fan and like Central Park fan. Very cool. I would recommend it to a friend. Yes. Okay, we are ready for dinner. We are having dinner in the Aqua Dome. This is gonna be a unique thing. Where's Carrie? I'm over here because this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Now, I'm a graphic designer. I make A-frame signs all the time. I have never in my life seen a digital A-frame before. Yeah, this cool. is so cool. I love this. Okay. So yeah, Hooked is in the Aqua Dome. We're doing Hooked, which is seafood, and Carrie doesn't like seafood, so this is gonna be what is it like to eat at Hooked when you don't like seafood? When you're a non seafood yeah. as I call myself. They are going to be doing this show in the Aquadome. It tonight. happens at like, 7.30, a reservation. Yeah. Well, we're here at 6.20, so... Hopefully we're, we can get a table. But like, yeah. yeah, it's like, as you can see, like Hooked is right here, table's right here, and that's this is where the show is. I'm wondering if maybe by the time we're having dessert at Hooked, we'll get to see like a little bit of the show. Maybe, yeah. Could be cool. But we kind of booked this restaurant, not because, obviously not because we love seafood, but just because we thought the location was really cool and we wanted to check out what it would be like to eat up here. And we've only tried Hooked once on Symphony, yeah. and so I feel like it might be nice to try it again. Yeah, we got our table right here. They are stretching for the show right now. It's kind of really cool to see them stretching and just like getting prepared for the show. Yeah. I'm a little worried that they're not going to be able to do it because the ship's pretty rocky. Oh, right I know. Now. It's moving a lot. We've been having a lot of wind today. And so I feel like that's making like some choppy waters. So yeah. I'll be very interested to see if they actually do it. Um, so I've decided on my, my main course here. It's going to be the classic Caesar salad with grilled chicken. And I want a side of the crispy steak fries. And I think that's a classic girl dinner that's just salad and fries. And I'm excited about it. So here's the menu. I think I'm gonna get what the captain recommends. I guess the captain of our ship, I would have to assume. Henrik. I'm just kidding, I don't really know. Um, the Royal Seafood Platter. Oh, that sounds good. They brought out these delicious looking red lobster style, yeah. like cheesy. It actually bread. looks good. It does look really good. So I'm excited to eat those, yeah. but it is time for our dinner time question. And tonight we have a question from Matthew Schaefer. And the question is, do Voyager class ships feel significantly smaller than Freedom class or are they pretty interchangeable? This is actually a really good question, actually. Actually is a good question. Okay. Um, I don't think there's much of a difference. We've done, we've done both. We've done Adventure, Explorer, Mariner. Mariner. It's such three Voyager class. And we've also done all three Freedom class, Liberty, Independence, Freedom. You can almost not tell. I mean, right? Like uh, Completely. I feel like the Freedom class is just an extended version, but barely. Yeah, uh, Freedom class is just... Like, you just pull it apart a little bit. Yep. Um, what's great is you get the the hot tubs that go over the side of the ship. That's huge positive with that. But, like, I mean, Mariner has a Starbucks. That's a huge win. Um, Voyager class still has water slides, just like Freedom class. Flow Rider is the same. Um, same promenade. I would not pick of Freedom Class over a Voyager Class just because it's Freedom Class. Yeah, just because it's larger. Honestly, if like you like blindfolded one of us and put us on like Freedom or Mariner and like took away the decorations or something, like would we be able to tell? I don't really, besides the hot tubs, I don't really know. I feel like the pool deck has like an extra kids pool on yeah. Freedom. That would be the only thing that would get me. And honestly, I thought Icon Class would be like Oasis Plus or yeah. whatever, but like it's actually more different than I thought it would be. For sure. I think that's why I wanted to answer this question is that like when I came onto this ship, I was like thinking that this was going to be exactly the same as Voyager to Freedom class in that I thought nothing was going to be that different. It was just going to be like maybe a slightly extended version of Oasis class. But now that I've been on Icon, I don't think that at all. They really changed things up. Now, Central Park is pretty much the same. And then like the boardwalk has been completely transformed into like Surfside instead of the boardwalk. But those areas are still somewhat similar. 
But the promenade now has two stories to it, which I think is pretty That different. makes a big difference. Yeah. And then like the pool deck has been really transformed. There's the water park, obviously. And then I really do think they did a good job of like spreading out the pool areas, yeah. which helps to like divvy up the crowd a good The bit. pool area is completely different. And I, I just feel like I'm very impressed with Icon and it beat my expectations of it being Oasis Plus. And it's way more of a difference than Voyager class and Freedom class. Yeah, because to me, when I go on Voyager or if I go on Freedom, like, they're exactly the same. It's just, you took like a little thing of silly putty and you went like this with it. Yeah. That's the difference. I wonder if that's a hot take or not. I'd be interested to hear. I, I, I don't know if other people feel the same. But to like answer the question, like, it's pretty interchangeable. I would not like make any crazy decisions based off itinerary or date based off freedom or voyager no how's the bread it's really good it's a little bit crunchier than the red lobster but very good it's very windy today and there's very rough seas and this is a big ship and it must be pretty bad for this ship to be moving yeah. we're, but because like of our location and like the wind like we can like we're really like rocking up this here. is the most i've felt it all day yeah um I'm not sick at all or anything because I took um, boning or whatever it's called. But um, I don't think this show is going to happen. I don't think so either. Because when we were on Allure, Allure wasn't even moving this much and the Aqua show was canceled. And the Aqua show was down on the boardwalk where yeah. you don't feel Which like it's right. less movement than right. up here. I almost wonder, is the Aqua show is going to be canceled more here now than it was on like Allure or whatever? I would be very interested to know the stats. On that. If, if they do this show right now, I will be shocked. I'll be very impressed. The water isn't out, yeah. so we can't tell how much it's left. The stage is covering, like, the stage lifts up and then you can't see the pool. But, like, earlier today, even though the stage was, like, all the way up, the pool was still, like, coming out from, like, the yeah. grates or whatever. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll keep you posted. We'll see, yeah. This is now a journalism channel about the Aquadome. Breaking news. Yeah. Honestly, I'm super stoked for this meal. I know it's just kind of basic, but like, look how big and gigantic and beautiful this Caesar salad is. And then look at all of these fries. And I got it with the Old Bay seasoning. And I'm just very excited. I got um, the lobster mac and cheese. And then this is the Royal Seafood Platter. It's a uh, coconut shrimp, calamari, fries. What's on top? I think it's cod, some sort of fried fish. It looks, um, I mean, I don't eat fish, but like it looks like it would be good if I did. How's the salad? How it's are the good. croutons? Taste taste the croutons. They look different okay. than on that chops. They do, but I will say the dressing of this Caesar salad is better than it chops. Chops was like pretty watery. I have to eat this before I eat a crouton. The croutons definitely are not like the fresh bait. No. Mm -hmm. You think? My fork went into it pretty easy. Okay. They're not the same as Chop. It's from a bag and you know it. It's from a plastic bag. They're pretty like soft. Like it, it's like they took a loaf of bread and put it on. Where a crouton is supposed to be like really crispy, you know? I like it soft though. Do you? Do you want to try it? The softer the better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me taste that crouton before I taste my fish. <laughs> I don't think it's as good as Chop. This, this is a, why are we doing this? This is a really big deal. This is more important than the, my lobster mac or anything 100%, else. 100% because croutons can go into the Hall of Fame. Do you think that? No, come on. That's not better than Chops. It doesn't have like the buttery, flaky. It's good. Okay, but it's not. I'm not putting that in the Hall of Fame. We have to agree if something goes in. <laughs> it's not going in, but it's good. <laughs> also, let's be real, the croutons were kind of added as like a joke, but... Uh, excuse I mean, you. I mean, no, they weren't. I would eat a bag full of those chops ones. <laughs> no, it's not It's not a joke, but it's like, it's, it's just like funny. It's but comical. It, it's comical, but it's also like, yeah, the croutons are really good. Yeah. And they shouldn't be. Let's try this lobster mac. Look at this cheese bowl. Wow, oh, I didn't even cheese see Cheese bowl that. going up to deck 18, maybe 19. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really got rid of the cheese bowl really easily. I was really impressed. I don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. That's good. Wow. I've been having a lot of mac and cheese over there. Oh yeah, at the Aquado Market hey, over there. I mean, getting the bacon mac every now and then, we'll walk up, I'll get the bacon mac. Yeah, just gotta give it a taste. That's really really Let's good show it wow look at that i want to try I, my fries don't have the old bay okay i'm gonna try one of you're your having one oldest before one has I'm so much one. old bay on it yeah have you had old bay before 
I live for old food. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, we have like a ton in our our cabinet of spices. You got like a ton of different flavors of Old Bay. It's good. It was because I was trying to replicate the fries that we got at, in St. Thomas that one time. Oh yeah. And that's, at the top of the, at the top of the, the mountain. Thing. And that's why I got all that seasoning. Yeah. This coconut shrimp is really good. <gasps> really? Calamari is good, not really good. Okay. But the mac and cheese is like this is probably the least good thing. The fried fish on top, but it's so okay. it's good. Yeah. I'm honestly surprised. Like pleasantly surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised by I this. I think when we went to Hooked on Symphony, we were like, yeah, this is fine. I was a little disappointed on Symphony, but like I think this is this one's actually better. I kind of agree. I just had my first bite of the chicken on this salad. When we were on Symphony, I had the chicken and it had like no flavor. In fact, like when I ate it, I feel like it tasted like fish and I was like, oh, this isn't that good. This chicken is actually really good. Like Comparative to the chicken that I had at lunch at base camp, this is delicious. Like, I don't know, there's like a blackening on it. Is it, is it served cold or hot? It's cold, which okay. I appreciate because it's in a salad. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm enjoying my meal. And I'm at a seafood restaurant, and I don't eat seafood, so. Yeah, you did get a basic thing though. But it's good. But well, we had to try it. Okay, I got my dessert. This is the decadent, Chocolate brownie with vanilla ice cream on the side. It looks really good. And then I have the lemon tart. Ooh la la. It looks good. It looks fancy on it that does. plate. It looks look, they like splattered stuff on it. It's artwork. Yeah. I'm sure we all feel the motion in the ocean, so there is a little bit of um, some concern from a safety standpoint. So we're going to do a few last minute checks here. Uh, we've got our entire production team in the back and um, we're going to lower the lifts. We're going to see how the water is. Um, we can feel there's motion. So it seems like we might have been right. They might cancel this thing. I'm very intrigued that they're not saying it's canceled. They're saying we need to run some tests. As we do continue our safety checks here, uh, the stabilizers are fully extended and the captain has made Whoa. some adjustments in order to help us keep that water calm. Whoa. Any kind of loss of water obviously is uh, challenging for our divers. This is almost Waters. better than seeing the show. I want, yeah, yeah. I want to see the mistakes. I want to. See oh no, no! You want you want someone to get hurt. You're evil. No. You want someone to get injured. I want the show to be canceled. I want everyone in this room to be disappointed. Oh my god! <laughs> Pure evil. So they did end up canceling the show. And after hooked, we were just walking around. Look what we found. The world's smallest duck that matches the sign of the overlook. It's like camouflage. What? It's the same color, yeah. But look how cool this is. This is um, backstage of the Aqua show, Aqua Dome. The lights and the colors look so beautiful at night. It just like pops. Yeah. Oh yeah, put it in the, the eye hole there. I don't think there's enough. And then someone will go blind. I'm gonna stick it here. Okay. That's pretty adorable, right? Mm -hmm. That's a good spot. Or put it in the hole right there. I don't know. Okay, he's really teetering. I don't know. Yeah. The ship's gonna rock and oh, yeah, it's the gonna... Oh yeah, the ship is moving, but he looks cool. <laughs> we came down to the promenade. We noticed a really cool lighting effect in this hallway here, going outside in the promenade. Watch what happens here. Whoa! <laughs> and then it gets really windy because it's really windy outside. <laughs> this is breakfast for tomorrow. <laughs> Let me get my key out. All your desserts for breakfast. Okay, but okay, to be fair, this is lemon and this is blueberry. That's fruit. This is <laughs> coconut. That's fruit. Oh, oh my god, this is a good cousin. <laughs> <gasps> Look! Oh, wait, wait a second. What's that? What is all this stuff? <gasps> we both got certificates of inaugural sailing. What? Oh my god, wait, is there a second Gus? Wait! Wait, I, I need to put down my yeah, my your cookies, breakfast. my breakfast. Your breakfast cookies, but while you're putting them down. Okay, so this is our freebie of the day. This is um, luggage tags. Have your bags stand out from the crowd using this limited edition luggage tag. Okay, those are cool. Okay, and then it's hard to tell because we've put all of them over here. Gus Garden, but this dinosaur. The dinosaur, that's new. new. But we've seen the dinosaur before, that's how we know it's a dinosaur. Obviously. 
And then this is obviously a scorpion. I was going to say a lobster. That's have we gotten this before? That's a scorpion. I think we have. You know what? Here's how I know that you're right, that it's a scorpion. This was made in Egypt. And that's oh. only a scorpion could be born in Egypt. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this stuff is stupid. <sighs> the luggage tag's not... What's this the thing. other thing? What thing? Does it say dis departure? Ew. Yeah, wait, not I don't want to think about departure. Okay, so I'm going to frame this. It's really well printed. Like, sometimes things with that amount of color can't print very well, <laughs> says the graphic designer. Um, and then tomorrow we have Coco Key. I'm excited because we're trying a new thing in Coco Key, and there's going to be pizza there. Yeah, it's really cool that there's a new thing at Cuckoo Key. I'm excited to try it. Yeah, look at this. It says, celebrating an iconic moment. This week we made history together on board Icon of the Seas inaugural sailing. You've officially earned bragging rights. Oh, I have. We're on our way to perfect day. Almost there. We're almost there. I think it's only nine hours away. So basically eight hours of sleep, one hour to get ready, and then we'll be off the ship and at perfect day. Yeah. 